Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to another video episode of the Forgotten Weapons Library. I'm Ian, and uh, we had a lot of interest in the FG-42 that we recently did a post about, and I figured uh, we ought to take a look at a book on the FG-42 as well, for those folks who really want to find more information, you know, real detailed, in-depth information. So, I looked through our library and pulled out every single book on the, uh, the FG-42 that I could find, and uh, here it is. Death from Above, the German FG-42 Paratroop Rifle by uh, Thomas Dougalby, whose name you may recognize, and Blake Stevens. This is really the only really good authoritative book on the FG-42, and it's an excellent one. Uh, not any surprise, it's published by Collector Grade Publications, who I haven't ever found a bad book from them. They do really cool stuff. But uh, this was originally published a while back, and they reprinted it in 2007 with a bunch of additional material um, really good additional material, in fact, uh, some real cool stuff in there. So let's take a look inside. So this isn't a particularly thick book by collector grade standards, but then again it's also on a, a pretty narrow subject. There wasn't a whole lot of development of the FG-42 during and, and after the war, unlike many other guns. Uh, pretty much there were seven models, uh, some only produced in very small numbers, and uh, you know the whole development program was three or four years tops. Uh, so, the beginning here, we're going to start off with description of some of the early models. Um, the Type A and Type B guns never really saw production. The Type C was the first real firing prototype. So there's some discussion of that, um, what went into it. And then we have translations of several, a uh, couple different manuals, German manuals on the FG-42, the early and the late varieties. So the pictures are reprinted and they're translated. Uh, which is, on its own, a pretty valuable resource to have for someone looking for information on these guns. Um, you can see here the cover of one of the translated manuals. Uh, a little farther on, take a look at the, the overall development, the overall significance of the early guns. Um, there's a lot of discussion in here of the, the development, what was done uh, over the course of building the guns, you know, it's interesting to note that the FG-42 was a, a German Air Force, a Luftwaffe project, and didn't go through normal German Army ordnance, and as a result, it didn't really follow some of the rules. Uh, there was a pretty much a constant surge of, of changes being made to the FG-42 throughout its, its life and development, uh, hence a lot of different things for a book like this to take a look at. Um, scopes. Just another example of something that's in here, looking at some of the, the different details of scopes that were used on the 42. There is a small section at the back on the post-war legacy of the FG-42. Uh, here you can see the British EM-1, which was heavily influenced by it. Um, also some of the, the different Swiss designs and, and a number of other things, which I'll leave in there. And then one of the neat pieces that was added to this uh, 2007 edition of the book is looking at the two different versions of the, the very late war FG-42s with the kind of distinctive, much more vertical pistol grip. The late model FG-42s that were produced, for some reason, uh, had significant dimensional differences compared to the first variant of this late version. And uh, they go through and, and take a look at the different things that were changed, uh, which is curious. and. Uh, Again, very valuable for the the person lucky enough to collect FG-42s or just the, the person like me, and probably you, who's simply interested in them. So, there you go. Death from Above really is the preeminent book on the FG-42. And if it's a subject you're interested in, you really can't go wrong picking up a copy. Um, we'll have a link below where you can find it on Amazon. And, of course, you can also buy it direct from collector-grade publications. Excellent book. You won't be disappointed.